We were drawn to Limpopo in part by this magnificent lodge, but mostly by the hidden treasure which it helps to support. This is where Adine Röder runs herd or Hutzpreit Elephant Rehabilitation and Development. She is the founder and has made it her life's work to give these babies a second chance. To take care of an elephant to orphan is quite labour intensive. You have a very solid, dedicated group of carers to assist you. You know, and the reason why we work on a ratio of three to four people is that we can rotate them. For the elephant orphan not to get attached just to one person, because you can just imagine if one person is attached to the elephant and he needs to go on leave, what will happen to that little one that's having this strong bond? and you can lose her because it's a second loss. They already lost their family. And to lose another person is just too much at that stage. Kanisa was an orphan that was found in a snare and she had very bad injuries. Actually, if you can see here, she's got marks where the snares went through. And it actually went through her mouth and then also behind her ears, and it cut off this ear. The lessons began when Adine's mother, Lenta Roda, hand reared their first orphaned elephant 25 years ago. You also need the expertise of your milk formula, which is quite tricky because it changes over the four years. We actually use some of the elephant dung for her to eat fresh dung. We make some elephant dung water, which I add to the milk, because all those micro bacteria is a huge acid to their stomach. And then we also have a surrogate mother called Lummy, which is a sheep. Now she is the first introduction that we keep with the little ones, just to keep the little ones calm. There's another body, you know, should someone of us step out to go and make milk. As its name suggests, Herd creates an adoptive family structure for baby elephants that is crucial for their well-being and survival. Herd actually started in 2019 because of a lot of different circumstances. Now the main reason was in 2016 we started seeing a huge increase of elephant orphans that needed assistance. And because of the Jabulani herd that accepted these orphans, they were a perfect herd to assist us in raising our orphans that's coming in. So all the orphans that is coming in are coming from human-animal conflict situations. For an elephant orphan to survive without a family and without a mother, it is very complicated because they do need other elephants. And that fine balance between the amount of carers, how they look after the elephants and the elephant herd all plays a huge role in the survival of an elephant orphan. A mother of two, Adin started out as an accountant but moved into marketing and has learned the impact of social media in sharing awareness of these giants. So this is Zimbabwe. Uh, this is our biggest elephant bull. He's about 34 years of age. And as you can see, he's huge. So we've got Shepherd and Jusia that is also with um, And they know him very well. You could see the blow that he gave. So that's also for them. They will smell you. So their scent and their ears is very good, while the eyesight is not as good. This is Samupon. Now Samupon is also one of our big bulls. And then we've got Jabulani just behind you. Now Jabulani is actually one of our first elephants that we hand raised. And he's the reason for this whole operation. As this matriarch says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And Kara Shepherd and Komazana is a pillar of her team. My job is to take care of the elephants. Um, so I start my day early in the morning at six, whereby we let the elephants out of the stables. We then lead them into the bush, and then we find a spot where they're going to forage. Just keep an eye on them, because at the end of the day, they must all go back to the stables. The challenges we face 
they still remain wild animals, so we still need to be alert all the times. Besides weather conditions and stuff like that, but you have to keep in mind that we're still dealing with wild animals. In the wild, with their movement unrestricted, elephants are nature's landscape architects. But within the borders of a park, their impact needs to be managed. With the introduction of the elephants, the impact of the elephants, we needed to conserve and rehabilitate the land. We now sat with quite a big problem that needed addressing. So what we do is if you look to the right hand side, you will see that it's quite densely packed with thorn tree branches. We use a tractor with an implement to break the crust. We then use our elephant dung compost as a substrate for grass seeds to germinate in. And from there on, we pack it. As the grass germinates, so they will be protected by the branches and it will also give it a bit of time. Going a long way towards self-sustainability, this rehabilitation initiative grows a lot of its own feed. Vanagrass is a hybrid grass between babala and napier, very similar to sugarcane in appearance and in taste, but we use it as a supplementary feed for our elephants. In the winter, the bush does not have as much roughage, as much fresh food for the elephants, so we chop this on a daily basis and provide it to them inside the paddocks. This will form part of their daily ration, which comprises out of lucerne, banner grass and branches harvested from the reserve. Even better, they use elephant dung compost to grow that grass feed and as a soil underlayer to green the park. If you look at a lodge on a big five game reserve such as this one, food waste is being generated just as a byproduct of your daily operations. So what we will do is we've implemented a system called Bukashi, which is a Japanese derived system. It is essentially a fermentation process that changes the chemical structure of the food. After this Bukashi process is completed, we will then add it to the compost and just following the same turn cycle as in the normal composting process. In a similar approach to sustaining itself, Herd is partly supported by the luxury lodge where Adin has been the very successful MD for eight years. The reason why we built the lodge was to generate income, to assist looking after the elephants, to have a business model and we also have an elephant levy that guests actually contribute directly toward Herd, which is a non-profit organisation. Jabalani actually offers a soulful safari experience. So not only offering guests the game drives in the Big Five game reserve, but adding your experiences around the elephants, watching them swim, watching them at sunset as they return back from their day out in the bush. So that really is adding to the whole experience. If this multi-talented woman inherited her mother Lenta's way with animals, then from her father Jahan, she learned how to run an efficient business. With my hours that I work from early morning to late afternoon, early evenings and sometimes throughout the night, I want a bank that's accessible. Capitec has this remote onboarding service where you can, in the comfort of your home, open an account which is secure, the convenient time, whenever it suits you, without going into a branch. So all that you have to do is pick up your smartphone, download the Capitec app, add your SAID number, take a couple of selfies, enter your personal details, and voila, you have a new bank account. Another convenient aspect is that my card will be delivered to me at my doorstep, but I'm still able to use my mobile app for banking or shopping. Leaving time for her mission. One of the objectives that we definitely are focusing on is how to bring in from our communities the education, but not only the communities, also international and bringing all the different worlds that so far apart from each other to the elephants in understanding their ways and their needs. 
we can learn from their behavior through the research on each aspect. If a businessman walks in looking at the project, he must feel rewarded. He must see the value in her trust. However, if a child of five years also see the same project, he must also take something back home. And that must be for each and every one, all walks of life must see the value in what elephants bring back for them. For her work, Adine Roeder was recognized by a World Hospitality Organization as their Women of the Year for 2020. If you have your own plan on how we and our natural world can live better, let us know and stand a chance of winning a thousand rand. Simply reply to the competition post on the Insider SA social media platforms using hashtag Capitech Live Better. T's and C's apply and can be found on the Insider SA website. Get more of the Insider SA online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider SA. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.